Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here. And so I just did a channeled writing with Adronis and I was very curious today looking more into what other sources may have referred to as guardian races. And so this video, uh, through the channeled writing, uh, Adronis is going to speak about more uh, uh, intel as it relates to these particular types of guardian races. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read out the channeled writing. So I wrote to Adronis, I ask, I'm curious about the jurisdiction, for the lack of a better term, that exists beyond our star system. There have been talks from other sources about guardians that patrol other territories on a cosmic level. Beyond our own scope of affairs that may be happening with the human race and other races that are within our star system, what can be shared about the patrollers that are working with our star system and possibly other star systems? What is the big picture of these mentioned guardian races? that are interacting with our star system, and others, if you can elaborate on this further. Adronis replies, We acknowledge your query. We will state that these guardian races, as you term, are indeed a true factor relating to delegation, mediation, guardianship, and certain levels of stellar phenomena negotiation throughout this galaxy. These guardianships could be referred to as ultra-federation groups, that exist past what you could understand as particular local galactic affairs. They are no more different than what you would know as monitors that will patrol certain star systems to ensure that the integrity and natural growth cycles developments of these indigenous systems of life are staying at a certain course of development. They will also be investigative and will determine that if there are, shall we say, unlawful interventions taking place that are deeply influencing a civilization or civilizations. There will be intervention parties that will act themselves accordingly, as they are a type of sacred law keepers. The guardian races do not involve themselves with the internal developments of a planetary sphere, nor do they involve themselves with galactic system internal affairs. Those are the jurisdictions that relate to super-federation groups. Therefore, you could say that the Ultra Federation holds itself into a higher level of corporeality integrity. In other words, the Ultra Federations exist to keep natural order intact with developing star systems that support intelligent life. The Guardian Races consists of millions of different appointed cultures that would exist within the inner spirals of the galaxy, as it were. They have grown into a specific level of maturity and volunteer themselves to survey specific territories so that equilibrium within the galaxy can be established. These guardian races can consist of human, non-human, and non-corporeal forms of life. They're here to keep an eye on transgressions that have been applied through your own star system for many millennia, and when a star system such as yours is nearing a state of completion as it relates to a solar cycle, it is not uncommon for these guardian races that occupy themselves through the prisms that we have discussed before to appoint themselves as liaisons to ensure that the completion of a solar cycle holds an integral part of expansion and evolution that serves in harmony with other neighboring territories as well. Not just for the nature of the preservation and evolution of local civilizations within a particular galactic star system. The Guardian races do patrol a vast amount of stellar territory throughout the known galaxy. We can say that their Ultra Federation are also protectors of the galaxy and will work to halt any hostile threats that may endanger any galactic experiments that are currently taking place. This can relate to invaders, technological takeovers, races that are acquiring territory unlawfully by means of attempted time travel or unlawful jurisdiction that relate to the conquering of certain races. The Ultra Federation Guardians work on behest of a greater council that is contained within the area of the central galaxy of the Milky Way, as you term it. This council also receives guidance from other councils beyond the galactic plane and will carry out specific procedures where the Guardian races slash Ultra Federations will serve as these delegates, protectors, negotiators. 
As stated, these guardians are not here to interfere in the affairs of your world or any others. They exist as monitors that work to maintain the will as it relates to the affairs designed to keep natural order throughout the galactic plane existing within a multitude of different dimensional and density planes. For these beings are not singular in specific form or limited in certain density constraints, but span all densities to where affairs and karmic tasks would require balance and maintain order in accordance to the will of the councils that exist beyond the Ultra Federations. Now the next part here I was just asking uh, in my mind if Adronus was part of the, these guardian races or part of this Ultra Federation, to which he replies, we ourselves are part of what you would know as the Ultra Federation in a certain context, yes. I am Adronus of Sirius. We will now conclude this transmission. We will speak to you again, as now is forever, and all is one. All right, so again, a very, very fascinating uh, channeled writing here. So basically what Adronus is saying is that these guardian races uh, do comprise of millions of different civilizations, millions of them. Uh, and, you know, we may have heard some certain talks about, uh, you know, the blue avians and the blue spheres and all that stuff, and that these would represent certain components of these particular types of guardian races. Uh, but basically, there are millions of them. Uh, there's uh, a lot of talk, again, about how they are uh, approaching the star system through these spheres, or, again, other particular forms of geometrical uh, craft. And that they consist of, again, millions of different uh, volunteers that are more so kept within the inner spiral of the galaxy. So there definitely seems to be a, uh, a very long level of maturity as we go into the deeper uh, connections of the galaxy on an interior level. So this is quite fascinating. Uh, I'm certain we'll probably have some more conversations about this topic down the road, but uh, just giving us a little bit of a uh, peek into the aspect of ultra federations. So super federations, I imagine, would relate to those who are basically keeping the peace. They're kind of like, again, the wardens that are working together with internal uh, star systems or internal star system affairs in that way, and they're basically keeping the peace. So what we would know as super federations could be referred to as like the intervention fleets that Adronus has talked about before. They basically do get involved with certain affairs, not at a point that is harming free will, but they will intervene in regards to internal affairs and that they have uh, certain levels of branches. So we could basically look into our own local fleets of uh, space uh, uh, phenomena, of uh, space agencies, and then, of course, it moves up into Super Federation, which relates to governing internal affairs throughout a uh, local star system. And then moving up into Ultra Federation, into guardianship with these other particular groups that, again, just hold that are kind of like the monitors of the uh, galactic jurisdictions of different star systems, making sure that everything is balancing itself out together. So it's kind of like branches within branches within branches. It's very, very fascinating. All right, so that is this channeled writing. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in, and I look forward to speaking to you again in another video. Take care, namaste, and may it be well with you. Thank you.